okay. So I was looking on my phone and see the picture that you already saw, the thumbnail. This one. So I was like, oh my gosh, it's been years that I haven't uploaded this video and I have recorded since I actually just returned to Thailand from Northern Ireland actually and it was an amazing experience to do skydiving tandem by the way and you know it was one of my bucket list that needed to shake off after I returned back to Thailand and I will share with you end of this video whether I would do it again or not but what about you skydiving is one of your bucket list or not so this video I already reviewed the footage so it would walk you through what you need to prepare how it looks like tandem skydiving in Thailand and so on so I hope you enjoy keep watching the reason why I chose this place was because it's not so hard to go and also it's not so far to go as well from where I live at that time and my mom was available at the time so I just chose to go there and they have a very high standard I already searched for the review and also look for those places that have like a package for camera as well because I didn't know whether I would be able to do it again or not you know who would jump out of the plane often <laughs> so that was something that I keep in mind so I really want to snap this memory forever that's the thing so I want the package that would include video and photos that I would keep it for a lifetime so that's one thing that I would have in mind that that is something that have to be included so this place has that and also the review and so on so that's why I choose to go here so this is skydivethailand.com where I jumped and this is their website and it's pretty amazing what they have here let's take a look so you can book your jump first jump licensed skydiver or the safety yeah, it's pretty close to Bangkok and that's how it looks like like oh they have in Khao Yai as well uh, I didn't go there let's see first jump <laughs> still scary until today yeah I went for camera package so that's camera package as you can see here, so there are two people jump with me. So the instructor, me, and another camera guy. So that's what I got as the package. So I got the go package here. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Before you go for a yes. jump, yes. Uh, we use visuals because everybody absorbs information differently. So some people they can hear it, they understand it very well when you explain everything. Here's the combination of reading, showing, and explaining because it is very crucial these three steps that the guest, the passenger, understands it. Because if you follow this, you will have more fun. <laughs>
fall out of place. This is you on the front here. So kind of like you are now, just hold on to the harness. Perfect, your head can be back by you. Your bend at the back and your legs are together. And then bend back underneath the plane. So you shake like a banana. So we stay like a banana, we go ready, steady, fall out the plane. Stay like a banana. You'll feel tap, tap, tap on your shoulder. Bring your arms out there. Awesome, perfect. You're going to see our camera go in front of us, so give a big smile away. You've got swimming, you've got kisses, Superman, do whatever you want, it's going to be fun. After about a minute and three four, I'm going to open the parachute. After that, it's going to go quiet and you and I can talk again. We're going to fly around for a bit. When we come into land, we need to get your legs up nice and high. We want to land on our bum. Right. Just like that. I'm going to say legs up, legs up, legs up. So we just have a quick look at this position. Thank you for jumping with us <laughs> and um, uh, we are here at Skydive Thailand and we are focused on tandem jumps and also for sports jumps so we will show you around a little bit and explain all the different steps what it takes to become a skydiver uh, you have done it today so congratulations Thank you. and uh, I hope you can share also some tips of your personal experience after this video yeah, yeah sure so this is where okay. where are we now yeah, let me show you around guys yeah. So basically what you see here, this is the area where the parachutes are getting packed. The uh, sports jumpers, the fun jumpers, they have the option of packing the parachute by themselves. Or um, here we go, packers. All the packers are qualified, they have their licenses, so they are in charge of the sports rig and the tandems rig. The tandem rig is the main focus here, so we want to have people to have that first uh, experience in skydiving, no pre-experience needed, and this is where it all takes place. We are very proud of our packers because these are all experienced uh, staff and they have a very high stressful job because when people come and they put their parachutes here, the packers have a limited time frame to get the chutes ready for the next load. However, the times are calculated in a way that it is always safe, like safety is the main priority here because it is a very um, complex operation. However, we are happy that we have very simple steps which make the skydive a very safe experience. How many rounds a day? How many, how many skydives a yep. day? Well, if we are busy, we do over 50 skydives a day. Wow. Tandems only. Ah, yeah. okay. right. Yeah. Yeah. I think you were number 32 today. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. That's already a lot. That's a lot, yeah. Um, behind you see all the different offices where we have uh, like a repair workshop. It's called rigging. And then we have a sports jumper, that's the fun jumper room. And all our tandem guests, they are being harnessed up here. They're being dressed up like you did today. Then you get the introduction and then you're pretty much good to go to that plane over there. Okay, so this is like the waiting area somehow. Yeah, waiting area, this is we call a mock-up in skydiving. <laughs> so every drop zone, every good drop zone should have it that you have a, basically a copy of the exit of the door ah. so that skydivers uh, can practice how they exit the aircraft and this also helps for the tandem passengers when they get the basic introduction how to behave, where to put their hands up on exit. This will all be explained to you on the floor but we also do it as a dirt dive, as mm -hmm. a practice because when you're up there sometimes it is a lot of information and a lot of feelings for the tandem passenger to take in that's why when you practice it on the floor you'll be safe up there huh? oh cool <laughs> okay so here we have the landing area our landing area is actually quite easy 
uh, we always have a big red arrow which is very good visible from the sky and that is basically it points you towards the landing direction so basically how people land into the wind with the parachute and then that you guarantee a soft landing yeah. uh -huh. okay, so yeah. just, bye, very nice beautiful area so if you are a, a licensed skydiver you can land here without any problems yeah, yeah you will see in the clip yeah i hope so <laughs> okay you're here okay so Basically, that's the plane you jumped out earlier to Cresco. It's manufactured in New Zealand. And this is a very nice plane for one simple reason. It has been modified and uh, prepared for skydiving. So that means this oh. plane is for us. And I will show you the inside. We have warning labels everywhere because sometimes people need to be reminded of certain things. But everybody who enters this aircraft is specially skilled or it's the tandem passenger with the tandem instructor and basically what happens here is that everything is designed for the skydive for a safe skydive so we have the seat belt which needs to be fastened we have the certain mock-ups we have the handles so that everybody can exit the aircraft in a safe way and everybody can have a great time so it's a very nice plane uh, and uh, we are very proud to have it and it's only a few years old yeah and no need to worry because you will be guided along the way. Yeah. <laughs>want to come here like no experience at all what they have to be yes. um we always encourage direct bookings with us so you um, can book over our website skydivethailand.com and uh, that is the easiest way or just give us a call uh, we like to talk a lot i like to talk a lot with our guests so our team likes to talk a lot about our guests the reason is because we have a very interesting product a very exciting activity to sell and it's, we don't really see it like selling. We, it's more like we share the fun, what we have with other people and we charge them for it. So it's actually a win-win situation. Oh yeah, indeed. And that customer service are amazing, to be honest, like amazing. Yeah, I can always <laughs> do better, but thank you. Yeah, you're very polite and friendly. Yeah. Oh no, indeed. I really impressed. Like I have asked many and then I just choose this place because of that. Thank you so much. So what are the packages that you have? Yes, we have basically three packages. What we advertise is one is just the tandem jump. The second one is the silver where you have the tandem instructor. So the person who is behind the back, they will have a cam on their uh, hand, the handy cam. And the third one is the best one. Of course, it's gold. It means you have uh, two cameras. So one is with the tandem instructor and you have the outside cameraman. What we try to explain the guest is that we always encourage, of course, uh, the silver or the gold package. The silver package, for one reason, you want to have your skydive on video so you watch it over and over <laughs> again. And if you feel that skydiving is really something you ever wanted to do, we do recommend to upgrade to the gold package. When you think about it, it's only like one dinner in a normal restaurant that upgrade but then you have like two camera angles and it's a big difference if you also have a outside camera man or woman who will take the footage it's just part of the whole experience which makes it so much nicer because i guarantee you, you will watch it over and over and over again my mom was laughing when she was my video so i also purchased the gold one and it's totally like a good decision actually like i could see from different perspective and how silly i am <laughs> yeah well we want your mom to jump with us as well so you have to show her the video a few times now uh, yeah that's so. a good one <laughs> so i still remember the feeling of that day i'm like wow i know myself now that i don't like the feeling when my stomach move you know like when you have to close the bumper or something or like when your stomach move let's say when you go down from elevator so fast or something like that kind of feeling is give you nauseous and i don't like that feeling at all so i actually prefer going deeper in the ocean instead of going higher in the sky i think i wouldn't do it again to be honest just for my personal preference 
but I know that it could be addictive because once I jump, the feeling of back through of anything that I could control because I can't control anything except my consciousness that I would follow anything that instructor would told me to do. So that's the only thing that I can do. Just follow them, whatever they say. But other than that, I can't. I can't control anything. Yeah, literally. So it's really something that you need to break down until you break through. Like that's literally how it feels like. And it's a great experience still. Like I still remember the first time my mom saw my face that she said, oh, t- you totally turned green. <laughs> that's what she told me. <laughs> But other than that though, the team were great, the service were great, it's just not for me. That's what I felt. But you should try. Because without trying, you wouldn't know whether you like it or not. It's like once in a lifetime experience that you can tell how you feel afterwards. Because you wouldn't have this feeling again if you won't try. So I encourage you to try at least wherever it is. And it will feel cold by the way. So show us the country that is not as cold because it would be cold up there. So think about that as well. Other than that, stay tuned to next video. Hope we will get back to those business information soon, but maybe not, you know, in case I have like other things to share with you, I will come back to do other stuff as well. But anyway, keep getting unstuck and see you in the next video.